Well, Fez, you sold the calves last week on our video. I think you're going to sell them again today, aren't you? Teddy Cover, Steve Fezzik here on pregame.tv. And Fez, it's free play time, and you're going to talk about this Cleveland Chicago series and the best way to take advantage of the current marketplace. Absolutely. And last week we spoke about how the Cavs, no love for the Cavs. They're going to have a big problem. And they had a big problem dropping game one. Uh, one thing with the Bulls, Thibodeau, his last stand, he's going to be gone after this year unless they win the NBA title. And you know what? This team is rallying behind him. Aren't you worried at all? I mean, there were two stats. And again, I watched the game. But there were two stats that after the game really stood out to me. One was the fact that LeBron only got to the free throw line for two attempts, including a non-call at the end of the game that could have made a big difference in the final result, uh, the type of call, the calls that LeBron usually gets. And, of course, I went back and looked, and throughout the regular season, uh, I think there was one other game that he was only at the free throw line for two attempts, and basically every other time he played, he was getting significant attempts. The other stat is that the Bulls were hitting everything last night. They shot, they shot 56% from three-point range, 50% from the floor overall. And, you know, Chicago, a much better offensive team than perhaps they get credit for, but... They're not going to shoot 50% for this series, are they, or even close? I think they're going to be a better shooting team, and the fact that LeBron is so tired guarding all these different bowls, he can't make his outside shot, and you can see he's foregoing wide-open threes to go ahead and drive into the clogged lane. He's not getting fouled because there's two, three guys back already to stop him. So if you think that the Bulls are the best bet to win this series, or a good bet to win this series, what's the appropriate way to get involved with Chicago moving forward. I think the Cavs are going to get it done game two. I do think they're going to win, so we're going to wait. We're going to wait till the Bulls drop game two and they become a significant underdog again to win the series, then we jump on them. So you want to make it official then? Because it is free play time, and I want you to give me a strike price. What price we're looking for on Chicago should they lose game two to bet on them after that loss in an effort to win the series? Absolutely. My best bet, free pick. Here we go, Chicago Bulls. We're going to wait. Let them lose game two in Cleveland, and I think the refs might even have something to do with that. After they drop it, the series was plus 190. I expect we'll get plus 165 at that point on the Bulls. Anything, I think, plus 155 or higher. We are buying the Bulls at that point in time. I think it's the optimal time to go ahead and play them. Don't play them right now. I think they're going to drop game two, and I do think they're going to close this out in six as we continue. No love for the Cavs. We sell the calves.